Hey guys, I'm back with a Gaia deck profile, aka Sakuya Chaya Inakane from Rewrite. We are going to do a version of the build that I think is serviceable. As in the other video, I will put out some alternatives that you can put in the deck. As you may have already seen, there are probably two different versions, if not three, for this build, and all of them are kind of whatever, they're not a draw, as you could say. Thanks, Squishy, for not really putting an engine in Gaia, uh, as it was probably the meta deck, quote-unquote, in the past, so, yep. Uh... I think we can start, so yep. <clears throat> uh, this is pretty much the conventional, my my view of the builds. So if there's anything that there's any comments or whatever, just put them down below and I don't know, do your thing. So I'm gonna start with Akane. She is the Akatsuki Asuza profile. It is discard one, look at the top, up to the top four, pick out an Akane, Chihaya, or Sakuya from among them, put it to hand, and send the rest to the waiting room. So essentially, this card buffed the old build quite a bit, so we didn't have to rely on a spammable brainstorm, so that's a good thing. And also with this deck, you want to go through it as quick as you can, as it's probably like one of the few advantage engines you can actually do in this deck, so it's pretty good. And at launch, it was like $20, and it stabilized a little bit, it's still up there, so it's a good card. Next is Obligatory Akane. The drop one, uh, pay one, damage yourself, search for a level one. It is the main searcher, and obviously through the set. And it what makes the deck work too, and it makes it consistent and all that. So, anything that you can apply to Ricky in that profile applies to here. So, she's really good, nothing much to say. Next is two of these Chihaya commons that came out in the booster. Now, what she does is in the middle, she gains one soul, like the middle slot of the front row, and then I believe she is, she just gains 15 on play. So she gets a pretty, pretty, pretty oh, sorry, a pretty, sir, like, okay card for being a yellow. Uh, color thing for this deck. Uh, you can obviously take take her out for some of the more usable choices in uh, the Gaia archetype. So I'll go over that later. But this is a pretty good card to what I could do of. Next is my choice of running the other uh, cost similar to the other Akane. We do. We're doing the Krista two, uh, two of the Krista Chias, simply because we want to try to get our resources back uh, somehow through effects that can provide them. So this is a good card in any of the Gaia builds. It's just not really. It's not a card that we actually needed it's some kind of a filler in between because we need stuff that do something more as to say well, this is an okay card but as I said like having a Momoka type bomb or something like that would have been a lot better so we didn't have to rely on the other one but you know nothing to complain it's still a decent card, so we'll run that at two. Obviously, you can take these out for whatever you want. The main 
brainstormer of this uh, of the set in general and in this deck in particular we are running the tap brainstorm Chihaya what she does is when you play a climax uh, with a timing like Miki she can give a character one level in 500 uh, it's strictly not better than Miki but it's that kind of a timing so and then uh, her tap uh, you can pay one tap herself brainstorm for four send salvage from the waiting room so very good card and lastly I'm running two Sakuya so you can pump up your Chiyas and your yeah and yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the beat the, and then it can save a Chiyaya on the it by just sacking itself out in the old core phase, so pretty good. Now, this is a lot better in the old build, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the level zeros. Uh, for the other options, I'm gonna do this really quickly. You can do the uh, Yuki Himikawa clone Hakane, where you can swap uh, your climaxes, uh, and you, you pay one, you swap one out. And then you get the one from the way you just do that. It's a, not that bad of a card. And, you know, it's situational, so it's whatever. Next is you probably want to run for runners. Uh, if you want to make this deck more competitive, <laughs> you definitely want to play runners. Just remember it's not named anything. So it's the best runner this deck can run. And then next is the Suicider, which is kind of mediocre now. I mean, sure, you can like kill oversize, whatever. But, and you can salvage, you could pay two in salvage if this reverses something. So, But paying stock isn't what you need uh, to do in this deck, but it's there. It's not that bad. Next is what used to be a really good card, now it's kind of whatever now, <laughs> even for the price of this card. Uh, the uh, tap, or the, uh, sorry, the Spellable Brainstorm Akane, it also has a uh, a reverse effect for when your opponent uh, reverses something on your board, you get something 1k. It used to be really good, now it's just, it's your choice if you want to run it. If you need a uh, turbo through, eh, it's fine. But we have a Kane, so it's the other, the newer one. So we don't really need it. So that goes for the level zeros. Uh, rather than like waiting until the end to do all that, we can just do it now. We keep go thing going. All right, for level ones, I'm gonna run three of the Chiyas that combo with. Sakuya's climax, or technically it's her climax too. So, what she does is uh, when uh, she's when she's in the front row, you and you you when you play this climax, you, I think it's called a knight appears or something. You can pay one, put her in the back row, and then you call a one one Sakuya, this one from the deck. And then when you reverse something with your other characters, she gives she can give something fifteen hundred. So that's not a bad trade off, but noticeably this is only a three because you can find ways to get it pretty easily. And I don't want to dedicate too many slots to this combo because your back row only has two slots obviously. So yeah. Cause you're gonna have the back row and whatnot. Uh, the Chihaya or whatever in the back probably unless you find yourself an empty back row which is kind of unlikely in this uh, particular thing so the, for uh, this one one Sakuya what he does is if you have two or, or other characters named Akane, Chihaya or Sakuya she, he gains 2k I believe yeah I think it's all three other names so he's an 8k beater and could probably reverse things and proc her ability, which is okay. Now the problem with this combo is this is the balance, which is kind of haphazardly good and bad because you're gonna you cannot can't since it's a one k one you can't find ways to make stock, and 
There is one other combo I will, I will go over uh, that's not in this deck, but you can uh, sub, sub this out with and pretty much use. Okay, next I'm running four of these oversized GIS from the booster, obviously, from the anime booster. Uh, what she does is if you have, she kind of has, she kind of has the uh, Haruka and Now ability. What she does is you can't front attack anything that's higher than her level. And if you have, I believe, three or more other characters, uh, or actually, sorry, not three or more, if your other characters are Sakuya, Chaya, or Akane, she gains 500, and hand on core. Which is kind of okay, but uh, I pretty much want to reverse things with the Sakuya and then pump her with the back row Chihaya. Makes it uh, pretty manageable to uh, get stuff off the board. So you have that. Next are two 1 1 Sakuya backups. She, he is pretty much Ashigara for this uh, archetype, just searchable. All right. Pretty much, yeah, searchable or can pick them out from the Ak Akane Azusa. So, this is the backup we run. And then, lastly, we have Rewrite's version of Operation Tornado from Angel Beats. We have it's on play. You have to have a Chihaya on board for us to resolve. You mill two. If any of them are level one or higher, you can mill two again. And then, with the cards you milled, you can grab a card equal to. Or lower than the number of level one or higher characters you'd milled. So, this is another way to uh, get yourself or get, get yourself to refresh and potentially uh, prevent some damage uh, dealt to you. Pretty simple yeah, lineups there. Okay, so for the cards that you may want to put in, uh, this set came out with the one one Akane that gives your characters uh, reverse salvage. If you top deck, or uh, top check a level one or higher character, coupled with a stock soul for red, and then she cannot stand if there is not a, uh, I believe a Chaya or Sakuya or whatever on board with her. So she's restricted to that. Uh, archetype, so yeah. And then you pretty much play the bottom two to get her ability if you proc her. So yeah, you pretty much give it to the bombs, and whatever, uh, whatever is not her that gains on reverse salvage. So yeah, the card that I don't have is the Crimson Light Akane, where you can top check. You either leave it there or put it on the bottom. That's from Harvest Festa. It's a zero zero that I don't have, and I regret I'm not getting it. But that's what it is. Well, some we can't foresee most of the cards anyway, so I didn't know. Next is the one zero Mito that could be a one of. Is uh, pretty much I pretty. He's only useful for his uh, ability of getting sacked if he's getting front attacked. So yeah. That's the only primarily reason people would like to run him. And then lastly, for another type of build, there are all the old Chihaya combo from level one to two to change uh, the ratios uh, for both of these. I believe are kind of like three, three, maybe even, yeah, three, three. That's a B safe, just like the combo in what I have here. So it's whatever you want to do if you choose to build this deck. And I believe uh, it's kind of underwhelming, but it's something we have to deal with because of design and all that. So it's whatever. Okay, for level two, we have the anti heal of pairing one, one of the back row counter, or uh, sorry, the backups, the 3k backups. Pretty old cards that we should know about already. And then level three is pretty simple. First we've been running the two new of the two new the two new Akanes. Um, 
what she does is she digs uh, draw two discard one and then you can uh, damage yourself one have her gain 5500 I believe yep so and then if you're at uh, three six she can uh, restand herself when you ditch two pay two and reverse the character so ideally you can be at three five pull this out three four clock yourself three five and then you get to three five clock yourself or you don't know any of those type of you could this is not impossible to do these days now so kind of a question if you do or not so uh, if you cannot pay out for any more GIS then uh, it's whatever but we primarily put her at two because of the dig and that's what she's here for next are three of the shot GIS now you can go take this out add one more or just keep this line it's really up to you what she does is she can uh, she's uh, she gains the shot on play when she front attacks and then or attacks whatever and then I believe she can manipulate your soul on front attack I believe I, I, I'm pretty much sure that she can uh, have your board or maybe it's a startup or whatever but you can it's probably that but you pay one you give your board 500 it's pretty much commanding strength I believe but it's a well-known card so we want you to know what that does next are three Chihayas of the new the double rares now we compare from release from the preview and whatnot we come the community has compared this to Sinon. I believe Sinon is a little better uh, uh, because she, uh, I believe she pays two and discards one. This one discards two, but pays one. So, and they both heal in that regard. And they both deal four, but she gains, Sinon gains a buff, she doesn't. So it's kind of wiggy wiggy. However, with this deck, she is on the low and on the on the on the on the uh, bad end of the stick, as you may say, uh, with that profile. So I think the combo is good. It's just economically not like card in hand size and all that. It's not something that we. We are kind of <laughs> iffy, iffy about so, yeah. So that combos with the gate or the door or the uh, door. Yeah, it's salvage trigger. No, it's a, it's the best thing we have for this deck, and can't really uh, deny that. So, yep, uh, that's guardian. I mean, not guardian. Sorry, that is Gaia. Wow, I'm tired today. Uh, for rewrite, it I believe it is gone from best to worst. Uh, I can't really deny that. So, but it's still uh, outside of the the tier, the A tier, the S. -tier, the, I'm sorry, the A plus tier matchups. This is kind of a okay build. To play against uh, decks that are that do and that do well or do similarly well compared uh, to this, so it's a fun little deck that you can do, and it shouldn't be that expensive though. That's the only thing about this. Uh, yep. Hope you guys like the video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna go uh, off to the best build after this one, so, thank you.